Our top story. In 1954, the United States made Pakistan a central treaty organization ally. That was India's cue to build a counter-alliance. So it did with the then Soviet Union. A lot has transpired since then. Washington has realized its misstep and actively tried to woo New Delhi in recent times. It has been more than three decades of that, in fact, to understand that it is a win-win situation for both countries. And today's meeting in Washington is a testament of that. The National Security Advisors of India and the United States, Ajit Doval and Jake Sullivan, held talks in the American capital. This visit, of course, is being seen as a very significant one. There is a lot on the agenda. The U.S. is going to welcome more Indian computer chip specialists. The two countries are going to collaborate on military equipment. Artificial intelligence is another sector of mutual interest. India's space program will work with NASA on human space flights. And lastly, something that is turning heads, high-performance quantum computing. These are major commitments. India and the United States seem keen on strengthening their ties. But of course, there is a catalyst. In this case, it is China. Washington is calling for the Indian semiconductors and artificial intelligence industry to counter Beijing. U.S. President Joe Biden wants to deploy Western mobile phone networks in the subcontinent. He has chosen India to counter China's Huawei when it comes to defense, a collaboration with India will mean an active presence in the Indo-Pacific. That in turn will mean a close eye on China. So yes, it's an extremely strategic move, but let me tell you why it is a bet on defense and technology as well. And this time, India will be the one which will gain. Starting with defense, New Delhi is already in Moscow's good books, the second largest arms exporter in the world. Despite Western pressure during invasion of Ukraine, India has continued its military exercises and arms imports from Russia. This has frustrated the United States. So now Washington is more than eager to sway New Delhi. The tool of influence here is advanced defense equipment. Something similar is going to play out in quantum computing and artificial intelligence. These two are rapidly emerging technologies, which means it will soon become like hotcakes in the market. You know who is leading this market right now? the United States. It controls 36% of the market. So a collaboration with the leader is a step in the right direction. The partnership might be looking like a counter against China and Russia, but in reality the deal is futuristic. It has a lot of potential for a country like India that is already one of the fastest economies in the world. For more on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhan Sibyl sent us this report from New Delhi. In a significant development, India and US are partnering when it comes to various sectors like space, defense and also uh, semiconductors. Now, this development comes during the visit of the Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval to Washington. And in Washington, he not only held conversations with uh, his counterpart, but other top officials of the U.S. government as well. But if you look at the fact sheet that has been laid out by the White House, it lists uh, the practical collaborations when it comes to space, uh, how NASA and ISRO can collaborate and high-level visits between the two sides uh, in the space frontier. Also, when it comes to defense, uh, uh, engines being made in India by American companies is a top priority. And our New York correspondent Susan Tehrani gets us this report. The meeting on Tuesday also kicked off the U.S.-India initiative on critical and emerging technologies, which was launched back in May 2022 between 
the United States and India. Regarding defense technology, greater collaboration on military related industries and coordination in the Indo-Pacific region is expected. U.S. Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks told Ajit Doval that quote unquote building alliances and partnerships are a top priority for the Pentagon. She said it was the region's increasingly contested strategic environment and building the partnerships was a major objective of the U.S.'s 2022 national defense strategy, which calls China a growing multi-domain threat. This was according to a Defense Department statement. Susan Terhwani reporting from New York for We Are World is One. Well, for more on the story, we're now joined by James Schwemlein. He's a senior director at Denton's Global Advisors, which is a strategic advisory firm. He joins us from the United States. Thanks very much for speaking to Vion. Now, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, while welcoming his Indian counterpart, Ajit Doval, at the White House, said the two countries were launching the next milestone in the India-U.S. strategic technology and defense partnership. We're talking about quantum computing, we're talking about semiconductors, we're talking about artificial intelligence, and then there is the whole China dimension, which cannot be ignored. How do you view this meeting and its significance? Um, yeah, good evening. I, I think this is a, a very important meeting. I, I think one of the challenges with the U.S.-India relationship in, in the last 10 years um, has been a focus on formats of meetings. We're meeting in the quad. We're meeting, you know, the two plus two ministers where it's all about who sits at the table. Um, one of the important elements of the meeting uh, in the last couple of days with uh, on the, and the focus on uh, critical and emerging technologies um, is a focus on function, on actually drilling down on what practically the two uh, the two countries and the two governments can do together that's in their shared interest. So this is this is an important moment. Um, it's been a while since the U.S. and India have had a big common project. They work together on lots of, you know, you've mentioned in the report many, many individual important things. Um, but this uh, could be could turn into a, quite an ambitious strategic initiative. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit about why the U.S. believes at this point in time in particular that it is important to bolster its ties with India. Like I said, there is the whole China dimension in the Indo-Pacific that cannot be ignored. Uh, but, you know, even as the U.S. claims that India is a very important ally, uh, one irritant in this bilateral relationship has been the fact that for close to two years now, there hasn't been a full-time American ambassador here in New Delhi, even though it has been attributed to domestic politics in the U.S. Yeah, as a former diplomat, I, I guess what I would say is uh, there are some things that are about you, the, the country that the United States partnership partners with, and some things that are about us, the United States. And, you know, unfortunately, in the case of, of the ambassador to India appointment, this is all about us. This is internal Washington politics um, in, in the corridors of Congress. Um, it will eventually be resolved. It's, it's very unfortunate. Um, this is a, a broader, important moment of convergence between the U.S. and India, and it's not new. Um, it's now been going on for nearly two decades. Uh, I mean, uh, two decades ago, negotiations on the U.S.-India civilian nuclear agreement began and started until they eventually materialized into a meaningful bilateral agreement. Um, this is not a new development that we've identified in a joint way a convergence. Um, what has happened in recent years is an acceleration of that collaboration. Um, and that has happened because of external factors, um, because of China's rise, because of China's behavior towards its neighbors, including India, um, with the, the pressure that China has put on India and on its borders, because of the way China has treated uh, trading partners. Look at Australia, an important example of coercion, of economic coercion as a, a, a foreign policy tool. Um, and also because uh, of competitive desires uh, to diversify um, all of our supply chains on, on, a, on a range of different items um, globally and also to, to uh, generate larger markets. And, and there is no uh, larger market of potential um, than India um, other than China and the United States. 
All right. Uh, clearly, there's a lot on the agenda as far as these talks are concerned. Ajit Doval, India's national security advisor, has already met with his uh, American counterpart. He's also slated to meet with uh, Antony Blinken later and a host of other important leaders on Capitol Hill. On that note, uh, James Schwemlein, thank you for sharing your perspective with Vion. Great. Thank you.